Welcome back. In this segment, we will see where does the S and OP process fall uh, in the series of planning activities that are performed in a manufacturing organization. So as we have seen that first there is strategic business plan that serves an important input to the production plan. Practically, this production plan can be developed using different approaches. And the best approach or the best practice to develop this production plan is sales and operations planning process. And as we saw in the previous slides that there are two major outputs of sales and operations planning process. One of them is the production plan or the operations plan and the other is uh, the sales plan. This production plan uh, serves as an input to the master production schedule or MPS. As we have discussed that the production plan uh, focuses on the volume and master production schedule focuses on the mix or in, in other words, the production plan focuses on the product family as a whole and this master production schedule focuses on the individual items uh, that are to be individual products that are to be uh, made within that family. So master production schedule must be uh, consistent with the uh, production plan. For example, if we, we have decided uh, to say produce 1000 uh, products of a certain family during uh, the next month, then MPS should result in total 1000 products. So for example, we might be producing, uh, say this is the product family A, so we might be producing uh, 200 uh, products A1, say 300 A2 and 500 A3. So A1, A2 and A3 here are the variants of that, uh, that product family. So for example, we are going to make 1000 pumps, for example, and so these could be three uh, types of pumps uh, and the quantity should be consistent with the uh, sales and operations planning quantity that was 1000 in this case. This MPS uh, further drives the material requirements plan so that is a plan for uh, subcomponents and materials that are required to make uh, these uh, for example three different types of pumps in MPS and finally, uh, these were the steps, these were the phases related to planning. And finally, we have the implementation phase where actual production takes place. So we call it production activity control if the components are being made within the factory and purchasing if some components or raw materials have to be purchased. So in this lecture, we are focusing on developing production plan. And in the following lectures, we will discuss in detail uh, master production schedule, material requirements planning, and production activity control and purchasing. So, if we look at uh, this hierarchy of uh, production planning and control system in another way, then the strategic business plan has a long planning horizon, but level of detail is less. The production plan that is generally the result of S and OP process has relatively smaller planning horizon, but the level of detail is high. So, uh, for example, in strategic business plan, we might be talking about different business units. In production plan, we are talking about different product families. In MPS, we are talking about individual products within that specific family. In, in MRP, we are talking about the uh, components and raw materials that are required to make uh, an individual product in a certain family. So uh, the planning horizon is further small, but the level of detail is high. And in production activity control, the planning horizon is further smaller and the level of detail is high. So we will see the definition of planning horizon formally in one of the following lectures. Uh, but this is actually the time in future for which we are making the plan. So roughly, just to understand the concept, for example, we are making strategic business plan for five years. 
So the production plan could be for the next one year to 18 months. That is reviewed monthly using S and OP process. Then MPS could be say quarterly to buy in uh, to from quarterly to six months, for example. And that is in line with the production plan and MRP could be uh, done from weekly to monthly basis, just to, to, to give you an idea that as you move from strategic business plan to production activity, the, the time horizon or the planning horizon becomes shorter. So we will be focusing more on these three levels of planning. Uh, this is our uh, lecture 4-1 that we are continuing with. Then in the next lecture, we will discuss master production scheduling and finally the material requirements planning. But we will definitely uh, touch upon production activity control in the last lecture of this module as well. So I try to explain where does sales and operation planning process fall within the planning hierarchy and the output of this process is the production plan for the next month but as a whole we are reviewing uh, this uh, this plan for the next year so planning horizon could be one year roughly but uh, it is reviewed on monthly basis using s and op process so we can make changes uh, in that annual plan on monthly basis, of course, keeping in mind certain restrictions and trade-offs. Thank you very much.